Hey everyone, I'm Nicole Concilio. I am a beauty influencer on Instagram and YouTube, and I'm really excited to be here today at Dr. Barrett's office in Beverly Hills. You know, I do a lot of breast reduction, so you're not the only one, and this is yeah. important, I think, for viewers and yeah, followers to know. to know that if you're having day-to-day -day problems with your yeah. breast being too big, like back pain, neck pain, Absolutely. all the stuff that you're having, yeah. There's an operation for it. You can yeah. do something about it. And I'll tell you, um, my happiest patients are my breast reduction patients. Yeah, I yeah. do a lot of great surgery. I have a lot of happy patients. But literally, when you wake up from surgery, you're like, oh, I have relief. Yeah. It's oh a great, my God, it's a great I'm feeling. Excited. Yeah. First thing I want you to do is um, take a deep breath and then relax your arms. You have a beautiful operation today, okay? You know, it's really important. Um, we're going to do a lollipop. Um, yeah. Incision and and this this kind of operation and this is why it's really important for women to understand about breast reduction, is that there are choices to make when you get your breast reduced. The best way to do that is a vertical breast reduction with that lollipop incision. Mm -hmm. No need for that anchor pattern. Mm -hmm. like this. And we're going to take out a lot of this bottom part of the breast. Okay. Your right breast is bigger than your left, so we got to take out a bigger part over here mm -hmm. to get that up in the same position. Mm -hmm. So in that effect, boom, yeah. lifted, smaller, yeah. happier. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Good. So we're going to first start by making new areola sizes and we're picking our smallest one for her because she wants a petite size. This is 36 millimeters. We're going to go ahead and mark it out now. So this is a tumescent infiltration. Okay, you can see it building up here in the lateral part of the breast. It's not liposuction, but this is the step that's required to do liposuction because we have to put um, this solution in so that one, she doesn't get any bleeding when we do the liposuction and two, so there's not any pain. We're now doing our liposuction portion, and this is where you can really smooth out the bottom part of the breast and get rid of the excess fat that you don't want. I do what's called a safe liposuction technique, meaning I break up the fat first before I remove it. This helps avoid contour irregularities. It does take twice as long, but that's okay because it's a better result. A lot of people ask, well, why can't you just do liposuction on the breast to make it smaller? Well, that works, um, but you see how thick this tissue is? It's really firm. There's no way that you can do liposuction to debulk this area. So this is that lateral side boob that really bothers her. So the only way to get that out is through excision, um, but we'll contour it later with liposuction. Okay, here's our tissue. So we're gonna find out how much this weighs. 155 grams. So right now we're just checking for symmetry. I got 155 gram on this side. I've got 200 gram on this side. This side is, even though I did some lipo on the side, this side is still a little bit bigger, especially in this lateral part. So I'm gonna go back in and take another piece out of there so I can get a little more symmetry. Yeah, so we're just sitting her up right now and uh, we haven't done our pillar sutures here. We're really just assessing her volume. This side, once we get that lifted up internally, looks like it's pretty symmetrical. So we got about 100 grams more out of this side. So it's looking pretty good. So as you can see, um, we're closing up the breast now. And it looks beautiful. You see, we actually use five layers for our closure. Um, this is the fifth layer. This is this blue. This is this fourth layer. We've got one more layer to go up there. And what I found is this many layers really promotes uh, very minimal scarring and that's super important with this operation because yes we're doing a breast reduction but we don't want anybody to be able to tell that you had surgery so that was an incredible breast reduction you guys um, we did the left relatively no problem we got about 155 cc's off 155 grams and then we did the right side and that was a little trickier because we had to match the left so we got actually a lot more because the right breast was bigger we got 275 uh, grams on that side so if you come up here you can see why we took more out of this right side much wider uh, result we did our vertical reduction um, we avoided the anchor scar and then we did our liposuction approximately 200 cc's off the axilla and the side and the medial breast area, which is a nice way to contour the breast reduction result. Okay, so that's it for our breast reduction, you guys, for Nicole. She did amazing. I can't wait to show you her post-op results probably around six to eight weeks. 
you have more questions about breast reductions, check out my website, reductionsbybarrett.com or my main website, drdanielbarrett.com. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe, give me a thumbs up, and feel free to leave any comments, questions, feedback right here on my YouTube page.